Hello, collective. <clears throat> Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your family as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay with me into the highest vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy is stolen from you is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. All right, so... Um, Yesterday, I was like, I'm going to take a day off of YouTube. I woke up at like 4, <laughs> 4 a.m. or I think almost 5 a.m., probably 4 something. Um, I recorded the videos and everything, and I said, oh, I'm just going to take a break today. I'm a little tired. So I went ahead and took a break off of YouTube. Um, but when I woke up yesterday at that time, I had um, one of my Claire's uh incidents take place where like you're in between the woke and the sleep state i heard like somebody telling a woman there's a masculine telling a woman nobody wants to partner up with you because you come with a lot of trouble um so there's definitely some type of energy going on behind the scenes where it's like i think there's some type of karma playing out for somebody um this could be uh, a feminine energy, a queen of pentacles that's going through this. Um, this is someone that's been taking a lot of actions to cause blockages in other people's lives, stealing from other people. This is somebody's wife that's been doing this, causing a lot of illusions and things like that. So somebody, because I heard the word partnership, the, the guy said, nobody wants to partner up with you because you come with a lot of troubles. So that, that that word partnership, I feel like it has to do with like sponsorships and things like that. Uh, it could be like a work environment where people work together, but nobody wants to work with this Queen of Pentacles because there's something that she's done that maybe people are wanting to distance themselves from her. Or this could be something where it's like she gets sponsorships from people, but maybe her sponsors don't want to work with her anymore because some type of drama is attached to her that she put herself into. Um, so I think that's probably what it is. Um, but I just know I heard him say that like to her, nobody wants to work with you. Nobody wants to partner up with you because you come with a lot of trouble. So there's some type of karma playing out uh, behind the scenes. You reap what you sow in life, right? What you do unto others is what's done unto you. That's why it says do unto others as you will have them do unto you. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and get, get into the tarot reading. We have someone out here and it could be this Queen of Pentacles or a King of Swords reverse, Queen of Wands reverse, whoever it is reverse. Uh, that is extremely unhappy because there's, I don't know, like a Ten of Pentacles being balanced out or a family is taking some type of action to pay someone, I guess, to keep something quiet or to pay someone up. This may be something that they want to do behind the scenes just between you and them or something of that nature. I don't know what this is, okay? It's like there's some type of still mate going on because uh, I think what it is is that whatever these people are doing to you, it's causing them a lot more than it's causing you. Um... This could be like a, a business, an institution, enterprise, whatever this is. They're causing, it, it's causing them more money to keep coming after you because there's something where you say you were supposed to be gone by now. Some of you, some of you are not even supposed to be here. Some of you are supposed to be broke, busted, disgusted out in the streets, homeless, and things like that. Uh, but it just so happened you're so uh, protected and secure by your angels and ancestors. That's not how the story is going. So there may be something where someone is unhappy because maybe an institution or family has decided to pay you off in secret um, because there's some type of clarity that's out in the situation. Something that was hidden before is no longer hidden. Okay, it's out in the open. 
Uh, so they may want to shut you up quietly. They say, this is, a, this is an agreement between us that this is not going to leave this room. Again, I don't think so. That's not how it's going to go. Okay. Like you all got to take accountability for your action. Nobody's about to take any bribery or pay off from you all. Keep your dirty money. That energy. Okay. Um, I also picked up on a masculine. It's like there's a man. I don't know if that's like a man that. I don't know. If, I feel like there's a man that hired another man to look into you. Keep an eye on you. It's almost supposed to be something where it's like. Don't let this person get into any relationships. Don't let this person start any new beginnings until I'm ready to get with them. But you're not going to be with this person. It's like somebody has crossed the line in ways that they don't even realize they've crossed the lines and there's no coming back. Um, but they still have some type of illusion. Like they're still distorted in a sense where they think that there's still hope to fix something. They, they can still come to you. Uh, maybe if they just talk to you, then you two are going to clear things up. That's not how it's going to go. There's somebody crossed the line and this could be someone who I think they're used to having some type of control in their relationships over women, over people, places, and things. And maybe they thought it was going to go the same way with you, except this time it's not going as planned. There's something where your ancestors are telling you to be mindful of an energy that's coming towards you because things are not what they seem okay maybe somebody wants to partner up with you it may seem like this person have more money than you and things like that which they may but you bring something to the table that this person cannot find from anybody else so you need to be very careful uh i'm talking about like your maybe your gifts your skills talents and things like that like get who you are your energy your essence is something really supernatural about it so you want to be careful partnering up with the wrong person a man a, a genuine man, a real gentleman is not going to take from you just so he can be able to, so, so he can be the one to provide for you. A real man is not going to isolate you, cause you losses and damages so he can come in and be Captain C for a whole day. Okay. That's not how it works. So you need to be very careful, pray with caution when it comes to this person. Okay. There could be some type of, uh, uh, meeting that's going to be taking place between you and someone and i don't know if it's this masculine that i picked up on but i just know that there's going to be a meeting this is a meeting that's destined to be whether it's coincidental and from a human standpoint or it's something that's planned there's going to be a meeting that's going to take place between you and someone that's going to bring clarity in a situation why something happened or who did what i don't really think you care um be careful with this person coming towards you with a lot of secrets and things like that they're going to tell one side of the story but not tell you the whole thing because somebody is afraid of you rejecting them or something so read in between the lines Typically for me, I hear what people are not saying and I see what they're not doing. Okay, so do that. Hear both physical and un and not physical, excuse me. So they come to you telling you how this person did this, how this person did that. You need to look into what they did, how they participated in the situation. Okay, so this family could be wanting to pay you up secretly, like have some type of meeting with you. Say, hey, we would like to meet with you, uh, blah, 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 blah. Don't take any bribe. This is bribery. Don't take any bribery from these people because there's something where these people has take, have taken too far. Like they, they've all crossed the line. People should not be this malicious. People should not be this bitter in life and insecure in life, okay? But these are people that don't know how to take accountability for nothing. It's all about money. And the money they've been trying to destroy you for, they're going to lose. If this is a company they built off of your back through dishonesty, it's going to fall apart. A, comp a kingdom will fall. But first, all these calamities must come to pass. A mother and son relationship will be no more. Okay? The bottle will lose its companion. The mansion will become an 8 by 4 sale. Okay? A uh, strange fruit will hang from the tree and the sick will seek healing, but will not find it. All these calamities must come to a pass, okay, in order for a new kingdom to arise. So whatever these people have been doing is cost them everything. They were trying to cost you everything, but now they're losing everything. Someone is losing a lot of uh, uh, temper behind the scenes, having some type of emotional outburst. I'm telling you, we're having a the Four of Cups to the Eight of Swords. Someone is angry, confused, 
uh, uh, just, they don't even know what to do with themselves. They said, why is this person still here? You weren't supposed to be here. Someone may have orchestrated your demise. Like you were supposed to be taken out. I mean, call out. Maybe some people in this group didn't know that you were supposed to be taken out. The plot was that you were supposed to be out of here. But there are people within this group that know that you were being, it was being orchestrated for you to be taken out. And they didn't care how. They may have even hired like a hitman to take you out. But maybe something happened and the hitman realized he was under some type, of, some type of illusion. Maybe he changed his mind. I don't know what it is. But I, what I've also picked up on is that they've been hiring different people. If they hire someone and they change their mind, all they do is hire another person. And they're going to keep hiring people. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't going to be homeless, broke, busted, disgusted. You're not rejected. You're not isolated. You're just fine. Where you are in life right now is where the universe wants you to be. So you're just fine. Okay? So they can keep miss they can keep wasting their resources paying people to do this paying people to do that it's a queen of pentacles reversed behind the scenes that just like someone is unhinged she's out here again someone is unhinged like this she got the eight of, eight of swords so this woman is confused she's still trying to cause manipulation in a community and don't even realize like you're not part of the community anymore this is how the uh, uh, delusion of somebody is. They said, oh, uh, I just need to partner up with this person. And then everything will be, open. no, 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 no. Like, uh, you're not part of the community. Like, this is somebody who people may even be trying to just keep their distance from because they see her for who she is. They said, oh, this is how you move. Huh? This is how you move. Th th there's something here. It's like, Something was funny before. It's not funny anymore. I see like a group of people doing something I, like on online or something and they think it's funny. They sit back and they laugh and, and they're getting a, a good kick out of it. But like it's not funny anymore for them. They're losing money. They're losing everything. And this is how the universe has stuff set up. They'll take like the sweetest looking person to teach you a lesson. So more than likely since I've been picking up on People coming after a Queen of Cups energy a lot. The, the universe used a Queen of Cups. You, you know the Queen of Cups, they're innocent. They have a, a very, uh, a, a, like a naive energy to them, but they're anything but naive. But they're very compassionate, nurturing, dreamers, right? Healers, very gifted and things like that. The universe sometimes will, will use someone that, you know, Cute and innocent looking to teach you a lesson because when you see them, all you see is a queen of cups. You don't see nothing else. It's like, oh, they're all about love. They want everybody to be happy. Blah, 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 blah. So it'll be easy to come after them until you come after them and you realize, oh, yeah, we effed up. So there's something where some of you were supposed to give up on your path. You, you're supposed to be out here frustrated. I mean, like just losing your temper, losing everything. And it's like, that's not how it's going. What's happening is that your enemies are losing what they tried to take from you. We got the, we got the peop these people going from a 10 of pentacles to a 2 of pentacles in reverse. Running out of options. Stuck. Confused. Okay? Unable to make decisions and things like that. Just a lot of conflict going on amongst them. So what are they going to do? We got the four of cups to these people, the eight of swords, and the two of pentacles reversed with them. A lot of, uh, just a lot of uh, conflict, confusion, disharmony going on amongst these people. All they ever had to do was leave you alone. You got to learn how to leave people alone. Just because you're greedy and you want something that don't belong to you don't mean you can have it. You feel entitled to what belongs to other people. don't mean you can have it. You can feel entitled to it all you want. But that don't mean you can have it. You may even have, there's a queen of wands reverse that feels entitled to something that don't belong to you. I don't know if someone thought taking your twin flame or something was going to have you out here in distress. Maybe don't, don't nobody in the like working community get to F's about twin flames. That's just a title. A twin flame, all they are is that we separated from source at the same time. That don't mean I got to be with you. I can guarantee you 
Most empresses don't give two Fs. Twin Flame, don't care. Yeah, 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 yeah. But are you worth my time to? It's what like some it's a woman out here that just so desperate to be seen as better than somebody else. I'm the real empress. Okay, good for you. You're the real empress. Now what? Now what? Like you keep repeating that to yourself. I'm the empress. People want out other, other people to believe it. You're the real empress. So okay, let's say you're the real empress. Then don't make you feel good about yourself. Now what? What what, what happens? Nothing. Energy don't lie. You can fake it all you want. It don't lie. Some of you, you hear us, some of us, and we sound like B-I-T-H-E-S uh, coming across. And we don't get to ask because at the end of the day, what we say is the truth. Ain't no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It can make you feel uncomfortable about yourself all you want, but we don't care. We're going to tell you exactly what we have to say. You got to grow up. So you all going through all these conflicts, confusion, losing money. Like, this is a mental illness. You keep doing something repeatedly. You're not getting the results you want, but you keep paying to get the results that you want. You ain't going to get the results that you want. It don't matter how long you do something. Everybody's going to have to move on. It's like somebody is angry behind the scenes. They don't know how to balance something out. Because you shouldn't have done something in the first place. You shouldn't have done something in the first place. I don't know if somebody's taking a break from something or whatever this is. You should not have done something in the first place. I don't care if you take a break today and come back to something later. It's still going to be the same reaction, the same results. You should have never done something. Never. And then you got a man out here I picked up on playing with his destiny. I don't know if somebody thought you were going to go back to them. Ain't no going back to the. Come on. No. Nobody's coming back to anything. You, you need to learn how to focus on yourselves. Focus on you. Focus on yourself. Leave people alone. Exactly. Leave people alone, but you're so greedy out here. So distorted out here. We got the high priestess in the reverse. This is somebody, it's the moon to the high priestess in the reverse. This is someone so deceptive, it don't even make sense. Like every bone in their body spells deception. They lie about everything. And she's going through karma. Going through karma. Truth is out about her. May not even be gifted, just dark and malicious. Just does something for money. This is someone that don't, may not even know how to listen to their intuition, not even in connection with their intuition. Okay, they just make things up as they go. Very aggressive, impulsive, but wants to be seen as wholesome. Like, I, I'm wise. Like, you're disconnected from yourself. How can you be wise? How? So, it's a lot of secrets about this woman. She don't want coming out. What she's been doing. She wants her secrets hidden. They're coming out. I'm telling you, this is a liar. We got the moon to the high priestess in the reverse or the queen of swords in reverse. So this is someone who's not only a liar, but mentally unstable. Someone who's like an elitist. They feel like they're better than other people because they got money. How'd you get the money? You don't want to talk about that, huh? It's very narrow-minded, okay? A lot of uh, ego that she don't even deserve to have, shouldn't even have, like humble thyself. But it's a lot of clarity out about a queen of swords reverse. She's the queen of swords reverse. She lies, she cheats, she steals, she's insecure, bothered easily by other energies. She deems to be better than her. So if she's coming after you, that means she thinks you're better than her. Because that's the only reason these kind of people come after others is they, they feel like you're better than them so they want to humble you. But the universe is like, nah, this person ain't meant to be humble. We put them where they are for a reason. And while you're declining, that person is what? Elevating. Not only in, not only in uh, abundance, but spiritually, emotionally, mentally, mentally, uh, 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 
in, in character and everything, and you keep digressing every day, you don't, you're out here in the moon, high priestess in reverse, queen of swords reverse, and then we got a two of swords reverse out. So that means everything about you is being exposed. You're deceptive. Okay, you're overbearing. People probably don't even want to be around you because you're just so desperate for something to go in your favor. You're desperate to have some type of outcome you're never going to have. Like this woman is pissed off about two people meeting. I don't want to see this person happy. I can't live in a world where this person has abundance. They're doing good in life. Da, 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 da. Like this person wanted you to be so rejected. Even God should reject you. How is gonna God? How is God gonna reject you? Reject one of its kind? It says this person resides in the energy. I need people to be in. How am I gonna reject them? You dumb? Are you stupid or dumb? You got to be. I know you're not all intact up there, upstairs. Stupid or dumb, same thing. So you you are. Like they, they want to pay for something to be balanced out. Can we pay this person money? Can we can we have a meeting? Nah, ain't nobody meeting with you all. Nah. Nobody's meeting with you all. You made your bed. You're going to lay in it. Nobody's meeting with you all. They may want to balance things out with an actual high priestess. In the upright, but nobody's balancing anything out with you because you all that's dirty money. Come on, you're out here trying to stick problems, cause problems for people, been causing problems for people, and then you're wondering why they don't want to be in the same room with you, they don't want to be around you. No, nothing, I don't blame this person, I wouldn't want to be around you either. You don't lose your raggedy minds, you cross the line. It's a queen of wands reverse sitting somewhere anxious to hear that someone has given up. No, baby, you ain't never gonna get that news. Baby, you ain't never gonna get that news. I'm telling you. Ever. Yeah, so like I said, there's going to be, we got the six of cups to the three of wands. There's going to be a meeting that takes place in divine timing. Some, I don't know if there's going to be like a business alliance. Maybe somebody has an idea. They want to work with you, bring something to your attention. Someone has foresight now about a situation. You two may be connecting spiritually, so you already know you're going to meet in divine timing. Maybe you may have some type of commercial, end up having some type of commercial success together. Okay? And you got this uh, 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 Queen of Swords reverse. That's pissed off that somebody wants to work. Oh, man, this woman, this is someone, all she knows how to do is criticize. Not herself. These are people that don't self-actualize. So they don't know what their flaws are. They don't know what their insecurities are. But even if they do, you can't, you cannot mention it. She don't even want me to talk about it. Excuse me. <laughs> she don't even want me to talk about it. Okay. I mean, like, it's a lot of, some type of ritual has been taking place. A lot of anxiety, a lot of fear just being projected. And then there are people going through what, what are they so trying to project onto you? They say somebody wanted to take everything from you and they ended up losing everything. As it was always destined to be. Like, you, you all have been doing something. And a lot of practitioners have been telling you to stop doing something. You need to stop doing something. Take a different path. Self-actualize. Go within and see something from a higher perspective. But your egos keep telling you to keep going. It says if you just keep going, right, working hard against yourself, if you just keep going, you're going to get the results you want. You ain't never going to get the results you want. You're going to practitioners, right? They're the ones with the foresight. I'm not talking about a queen of uh, a high priestess in the reverse. That's not a, a, a reliable practitioner. We're telling you, the ones in the upright, stop doing something. It's not going to end well for you. You have a lot of karma coming for you at the end. And you said, oh, they don't know what they're talking about. Now nah, look at you. Nobody wants to work. Nobody wants to partner up with you because you come with a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. You're out here jealous of people that are here doing the work. Just go do the work. You'll be the same. 
But you don't want to look at the ugliness in the mirror, i.e. you don't want to go within thyself to take accountability for what you are. And that's a monster. You, you, you don't want to be seen as monsters, but you behave like monsters. You people cross the line. Ain't no, nobody want no money from you. Go pay, go pay your high priestess reverse to keep lying. To keep lying. You ain't finna get no results out of it, but keep doing it. Because uh, at this point, that's all you guys want to keep doing is bribing people. Hinder, causing hindrances, having these empty victories and things like that. Oh, we're going to turn this off. And then what? Oh, we're going to stop this from growing. And then what? What, what did you think was going to happen? You can put, you, you can do whatever you want to. But these light workers are still going to be showing up like they're supposed to. I just heard a battle is not a battle if a snake doesn't rattle. Listen, I don't got time. Okay? There's a man out here doing something. He's trying to keep control of something to stop you from receiving offers, opportunities, and things like that. And he got karma coming in. So I wouldn't even worry about it. Now, the kind of karma this King of Pentacles is about to be going through, baby, you won't you don't even want to imagine. It could be a King of Pentacles or King of Cups. Like you you wouldn't wish it on your worst enemy. Don't worry about it. He's about to go through karma. Like someone is angry. It's that he's trying to enforce something on you, but it's not going to happen. Not any day of your life. It's like, I'm going to keep doing this until they fall off. Nobody's falling off. If, if we don't show up to work, we as a light working community, that means we just decided to not show up. Not because you all did any magic that worked. It ain't working. Even I myself have been picking up on like some negative energy. I'm like, the hey, that's not me. I got things to do. Like, go away. Go away. Because we're always in this energy, discipline, moving forward. Learn, learn something about that. Focusing on thyself. Yeah, someone's confused angry about how you heal something is that how did this person heal this we've been i'm telling you a lot of projections onto light workers four of cups eight of swords page of cups someone is angry confused about how you what heal something it's like they keep projecting all this negativity on you but every time they see or hear you baby you you're in positive energy is that how the heck did you do that how did you do that we're, we've been doing this longer than you. And it seemed like we sent something and you just get rid of it 30 seconds later. Yeah, baby. Yeah. At this point of the game, most definitely. It was cute when we were asleep with the moon out here. We are not asleep anymore. Wide awake, like Katy Perry said. Yeah, I was in the dark, not in the dark no more. Okay? We ain't in the dark no more. So you can be mad, confused, all you want about how we heal. That's for us to know and for you to find out. Someone is pissed off. You're going to be receiving some type of communication from somebody. Okay. They may want to pay for someone to not choose you, not give you something, not work with you. If this is somebody you're meant to work with, it'll happen. It'll happen. It'll happen. Somebody got bad news behind the scenes. It's a queen of wands. I got bad news behind the scenes. It's a, oh yeah, this person is not giving up. Nah, they're going to keep going. Most definitely. Light worker, you better keep going. Light worker, you better keep going. Okay. Yeah, they, what, what it is, I'm telling you, these people have wanted you to be single, broke, busted, disgusted, out in the street. They got a message that somebody that's single is coming towards you wants to have wish fulfillment with you, sees you as wish fulfillment. So there could be someone that just got a divorce or something or got a divorce. And now they want to partner up with you. They say, hey, shoo, that's an empress, queen of pentacles, queen of cups, queen of, I mean, that's everything in one. 
I can't complain about that. Okay? That's where the money is. That's where the love is. That's where everything I'm looking for is. Yeah, I'm going I'm to need out. Somebody was in an unhappy situation and they decided to move on. You got people out here angry because what? You're going to be content in life, like worker. They're probably even angry. He's going to be happy. I see a masculine going towards somebody. Pitch of cups, nine of cups, nine of, knight of wands. Someone is single, ready to mingle, I guess, coming towards you with some type of offer. Sees you as an empress. Be careful because this person has a lot of lustful energy to them. Okay? Yeah. They have a lot of lustful energy to them. So I wouldn't jump just right into anything. Someone can have a lot of desires and passion for you. That don't mean you should go jump in bed with them. Give it time. So you got people angry. The, the high priestess reverse. You got another energy out here angry because of an emperor. They're not able to deceive an emperor. He knows the truth. And he's taking actions. Appropriately, appropriate actions, and they're angry about that. Whatever you are do to other people is what's going to be done to you. That's how it goes, and it don't matter how long. Oh yeah, he, oh honey, that emperor is. Whew. Maybe that emperor is settling scores. That emperor is settling scores. And I'm not even about to say too much about it, but maybe he's settling scores. Somebody's about to administer some type of karma. Okay. Yeah, he's about to administer some type of karma. <laughs> oh my lord it's a couple out here a family out here that's about to go through some type of coma most definitely that man is sitting back just waiting he said oh okay so this is how you move like somebody's about to do something where these people will never be able to do something again. They'll never be able to do something again. You got, like, these people out here, man, you're defending yourself to a whole family, a whole institution. You said this is one person. No, you see one person in the physical, but in the spirit, it's not one person. Just like I said, somebody's single, ready to mingle. They don't want from the Nine of Cups. A bachelor to the two of cups. So two single people. We got the nine of pentacles, the so nine of cups, to so the two of, two of cups. So two single people coming together and building some type of successful business. But this emperor here, oh baby. I don't know who this emperor is, but to administer some type of karma to. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Cold with it. Just cold with it. Just cold with it. Yeah. Just cold with it. People don't even know how something is being done. They won't know how something is done. Uh, there's something where these people have been trying to figure out your plans. Because what they don't want is you in a relationship, you being successful, you having money, you having access to anything. They don't even want you healthy. <clears throat> Like, they don't want you to have nothing. When I say nothing, nothing. And they think if they keep doing something, you're eventually, I don't know if they're consistently taking from you, blocking you, lying on you, defaming you, whatever it is. They think if they consistently keep doing it, you're just going to be like, oh, okay, I can't do this. No. No, baby. As long as the universe told you they have you secure, you are supported, you are protected, baby, that's all you need to know. You don't need to know nothing else. Okay? 
So there's something about you being carried away. I don't know how you're going to be removed from a situation, whether it be physically, and I don't mean in a bad way, whether it be physically or just someone's going to do something from behind the scenes to settle the scores, balance something out. It'll be done. It'll be taken care of. <clears throat> but there's somebody out here that's like, she's like angry. Angry. I don't know if this is like a male practitioner or a female practitioner, whoever. They're angry as heck. Because you're going to be leaving something behind. Or uh, something is being balanced out. It's the end of a karmic cycle. Someone is coming towards you. Like, I don't know if you got a lot of options coming towards you. Just be careful. Is somebody, some, like somebody, I, hmm, hmm. This, whoever you are, light worker, you got to get crafty with how you do things like move in discretion. Because it's like people are eager in this karmic community to figure out what it is you're doing, what you're about to do, what you're about to embark on, just so they can sabotage it. It's the same thing that's been coming out for seven months, trying to figure out what somebody is doing so they can sabotage it ahead of time. And then they can have a, a an advantage over you or something. Because there's something where it's that you're not supposed to be here. No one's supposed to know you are here. Or there's somebody that's not supposed to know that you are alive. That you are the source of something. Something belongs to you. You are the end of like they took some. They took a clown of a woman and tried to turn her into you. They took a clown of a woman. I said clown. I didn't say clown. Clown. Because this is an immature little girl playing dress up. They took her and tried to make her into you. But she keeps glitching and buffering. Someone keeps telling this woman, you got to keep it together. You got to get yourself together. Like someone is, someone is like trying hard not to break in public. Like not to buffer in public. You, you ever seen, uh, uh, like one, it's one of these situations where a woman is pretending to be the ideal partner of a, of a masculine. When he's around, she's a... Goody goody two shoes. She's perfect. She don't make no mistakes or nothing. But as soon as he leaves the room, maybe she's like, ah, oh, damn mother. Yeah. Something like that. Like the true her comes out. Someone may even be like a drunk. Get drunk all the time. May even come to work like that. That someone has been playing a role for so long. She's not able to even keep it up. It's, it's agitating her to keep playing the role that she's playing because... It's not in her naturally. It's like a, a, a queen of wands reverse pretending to be an empress in the upright. It's not in you. A queen of wands reverse is a cheat. Someone that likes self-control. Okay, unhinged, witchery, into a lot of black, act, dark activities, manipulations, and things like that. Uses their body to get what they want. But then they, they're telling her... To pretend to be an empress in the upright. <clears throat> this could even be a queen of cups in the reverse. Pretending to be an empress in the upright. Queen, queen of cups reverse are people that are pretentious as heck. Emotionally un unavailable. They exploit people's emotions. They know what you're looking for. You say, oh, he's looking for love. I don't got no love to give, but baby, he got money. So we're going to put on this act. We're going to put on this act. And act like we are he, we are his ideal partner. Uh-huh. And we're gonna get this money. Get money. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and there's something where they're trying to wait until it's the right time to sabotage you, the Empress. They don't want you to be they're trying to take your it's like they're trying to take knowledge of you away. They don't want people knowing that you are there. So they're trying to wait the right time to sabotage you. It ain't gonna happen. Like an emperor either has seen you or is going to see you in some way. There's nothing people can do to stop that. But people are trying to figure out how they can sabotage you. 
before you have this Ten of Cups. It said, how do we get access to this person? How do we destroy their work? How do we uh, just, you know, took them out? And them. And then here comes your ancestors. And they got the audacity to want to sabotage what the ancestors are doing or the angels are doing. Like somebody is very angry that you got security, something in your life. Right? You have some type of skill that you're committed to. Or you have some type of commitment coming to you, a solid commitment or some type of security. Like something solid in your life, somebody is pissed off about it. It's like, why do they get to have that? Because their mother effing worked for it. That's why. Go, go do the work. But again, you don't want to look at the uglies within you. Some of you don't even like to look at yourself. Because you know what you see in there it ain't what it's supposed to be. What you put out, it's not what it is. Two-fisted and things like that. But you get angry when people tell the truth. I don't like how they talk. I don't like what... Listen, turn the phone off. Turn your computer off. Or switch the channel or something. Because you, cause you, you, you have a distorted mind, a distorted perspective or, or viewpoint about what a light worker is. Just because somebody's a light worker don't mean they're supposed to be passive. Heck, you got more to fear from a light worker than they got to fear from you. Really? So this whole thing about, oh, they're supposed to be light workers. They shouldn't move like that. They shouldn't talk like that. You don't know nothing then. You're small-minded. You're narrow-minded. Okay? You're narrow-minded. So I don't, who, I'm not going to say I don't know who this is. There's a lot of people in this community that are pissed off. The whole family is, is, is disappointed, confused, pissed off, angry about you healing, you balancing something out, you receiving some type of communication. Okay? Someone may have plans to, to work with you, come together with you to build some type of... Uh, 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 business or something like a business idea and the both of you are probably single now they're trying to figure out when this person plans on coming towards you so they can sabotage it it's like let's sabotage the empress but you keep balancing something out for yourself as well or the universe is balanced something is being attuned for you you may be doing like little attunements on the on, on the uh, in the physical and the universe is attuning everything else in the spirit. And it's manifesting in the physical. But you're about to be abundant, Empress. I mean abundance. Okay? Like someone's trying to move discreetly. They say, let's, let's do this. Let, let's not talk about this. They may not even tell a lot of people about the malicious plans they have to come after you. It's like somebody's trying to tend a source and Empress. But you're going to be fulfilled either way. So it's like they take one thing, you're going to get something else. So that it's like someone going to a practitioner and saying, hey, I want to know if we've been able to destroy this person's destiny. Are they are they still going to get married? Are they still going to have this? Are they still going to have a ten of cups, ten of pentacles? And the practitioner, if they're honest, in the upright will tell them, oh yeah, this person is, is, effing, is, is, is effing abundant. This is a freaking abundant person. They'll probably tell them, it don't, it don't matter what you do, what anybody does. This person always going to be abundant. The universe already has, always has a, a better option for them. And there could be someone in here that's noticing this now. So, oh, this person is the abundant one. So that's where I need to go be. But they say, do you even have a contract with this person anymore? Did you ever have a contract with them? You can't force contracts with empresses. And that's why I think that's why their masculine was coming out in the beginning. The masculine that keeps doing something because he wants to have control over an empress. You can't have a control. You can't have control over an empress in a connection, a union, a, an alliance. or what. That's not how it works. So if you've been able to control other women, those are not empresses. Because empresses... They're going to tell you after the bat, I don't got time for your nonsense. Or they'll move in a way where you just know they don't got time. Because you, you, you're you speaking insecure. You're speaking immature. Why do you need to have control of somebody to be with them or to work with them? That's not giving I'm a man. 
that's giving I'm insecure. I'm used to having things go my way. And an in person ain't going to put up with that. So you all can keep planning. Like There's some type of meeting happening for these people to plan on how they can sabotage you, take you out once and for all. It ain't happening. It's, a, it's like you're waiting for that, that one moment, that right moment where you slip up and then it can come in. I'm, shh. It's like, nah, it ain't happening. It will always be a tune. There will, there will always be a tuning. There will always be a tuning. So whatever actions a family need to take to balance something out because there's somebody behind the scenes that's about to hand you all karma. You, these people are going to go from take, take her out, take him out. Grab your pitchforks and axes, folks. Let's go take out the, the light worker. They're about to go from there like, hey, how can we attune? How, how can we work this out with you? Can we sit down and talk? No. No. Nobody wants to be around you all. You're nasty as heck mentally. You're nasty as heck spiritually. You're nasty as heck emotionally. Nobody wants to be around that but yourselves. I don't know how you all want to feel comfortable being around yourselves every day. Don't want to pro uh, progress in life. You got to live off the backs of other people. If you got to steal it, it's not a blessing. That's a curse. And sometimes the curse takes a little while to come, to hit you, but it is still going to hit you. And sometimes that's when the curse is even worse. If it's sitting there simmering and lingering and just kind of following you around, it's like it's collecting debt. It's like, oh, on this day they did this, 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 on that day they did that. Oh, yeah, just collecting and just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then when it finally hits you, it's like everything just falls apart. Think of like a, a slimy business. They have a few years or however long where they're being slimy, stealing from people, mistreating people and things like that. All of that is being noticed. But you keep going, going, going and going. And then one day, everything just explores. You got to file for bankruptcy. Got to shut your doors down to customers. Nobody wants to work with you. Things like that. And it'll happen in a way where it's like you can't even recover from it. You can't even recover from it. Okay? Like these people are about to be losing everything, but they're still focused on how they can cause you distress. How they can stop you from being seen. How they can stop people from looking you up. How they can stop people from finding out that you exist. Because they stole something from you. They took something from you that they should not have. They stole from you. Someone did something to somebody they don't want coming out. And that's why they're going to this extent. To lie, cheat, destroy you. And destroy you. Lie on you, cheat, cheat, and things like that. Somebody did something to you. They don't want people to find out what it is they did. They got other people involved. And now the truth keeps coming out. It's that, man, we got to take care of this. This person is, com is, is becoming a problem. We got to... Nah, you all are the problem. You have left somebody alone. How you went about something from the get-go was the wrong way to go about it. And that's why you're stuck in this mess of a situation. You're out here bribing family members and friends and co-workers and strangers and frenemies, foes, whoever. That, that's not how you were supposed to go about something. But you saw someone, saw they were a queen of cups, and you taught them to be beneath you because they operate with love. They, 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 they do things with love. And you were offended. It bothered you. You thought they were naive. Nah, somebody let you guys carry out everything you wanted to. It's said, like, you know what? I'm going to let this play out. It's a hands-off approach. I'm kind of the same way. I can be around you and you're doing something. I don't got to be there. I got all the full clairs. I can pick up on it. I'm going to let you carry it out. Do whatever you want to do. Because I already know what's going to happen in the end. I already know. You may not understand because you're moving on greed. You're moving on selfishness. You're moving on bitterness, hate, and animosity. And that's what you're moving on. So I already know 
Because the energy you're putting in there, I already know that's what you're going to get back. Whatever you're trying to manifest for me, you're going to get that back 10 times 4. So I'm not going to retaliate. I'm going to sit back and watch you. But the moment you try to fix your mouth to come to me and say, hey, can we... Can I talk to you? I just want to let you know why something happened. I, hey, 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 listen. I want look. I was not looking for your sorry. Keep that to yourself. Keep it to yourself. Okay. Go figure out what you need to do with yourself to 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 be healed. Hopefully, you figure out how to forgive yourself. But you don't need nothing from me. I don't need nothing from you. You stay over there. That's how it be sometimes. You get so carried away. You think because you're doing this. Oh, we're going to do this and it's going to have them living in fear. We're going to do this and it's going to... No, 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 no. Somebody's sitting back and letting you all carry out your plans. It's like, oh, you know what? Go ahead. Go all out. But what we're responsible to do, we'll do. That is more than... Most of the time, nine, time, nine out of ten times, it's to just keep working and keep moving on. Do nothing. Because the universe is collecting debt. They say, hey, hey, hey. We are trying to collect as much debt on this person, as much evidence on these people as possible. We need you to not interfere in any way, shape, or form. We need you to do nothing but work. But focus on your healing. What we told you to do. We don't care how hard it gets. We need you to keep doing that. So the challenge now is us listening to source angels, ancestors, and doing exactly what it tells us to do. Have that hands off approach. So while you're going all out, swinging the baseball back, okay, coming in like a wrecking ball and things like that, and you think you're destroying a light worker only for you to find out, heck, I'm I'm broke. I spend all my money bribing people to take out this light worker who is still out here abundant, healed, balanced, going through a tombing. What the heck is this? You didn't read the fine print. You didn't, you didn't, you failed to see things for what they were. And it's not that you didn't know. People told you. Because a lot of the times when you are taking these actions, there's somebody around you. Even just one person out of the thousand will tell you, don't do this. But because the, all the other people are around you are telling you to do it, you say, oh, well, you know what? All these people can't be wrong. But you know it's wrong in your heart, in your stomach. Your soul is telling you it's wrong. Sometimes it's just that one person that'll tell you, don't do something. That's the one person the Most High sent you to tell you the truth. Don't come after this person. Don't do this to this person. Don't take this path. That's not safe. What you're doing is not smart. Don't. Do, this is going to come back to bite you in the behind. And you said, Psh, they don't know what they're talking about. Everybody can be wrong. 999 people can be wrong. That one person is confused. No, that's the one person. Because that's how the universe has it set up sometimes. They'll put you around a thousand people. And all those thousand people, out of one of them, only one of them out of the thousand has sense. And everybody else, dumb as heck, immature as heck, bitter as heck, greedy as heck. And you don't know why they're asking you to do something, but you keep taking impulsive action against somebody that ain't done nothing, but people get together and tell you, oh, they did this to me. They slept with my husband. They slept with my wife. Blah, 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 blah. All lies. They took this from me. All lies. But because it's 999 people telling you that that person did it, you say, oh, well, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do this. Nah. No nobody told you you were the judge, jury, jury, and executor. Executioner, excuse me. Nobody put you in that place. The most I didn't tell you it was your place to judge that person. You're all, look, I've been picking up on these false religious people. You're all out here preaching that you're religious, you're this, you're that, you're Muslims, Jewish, Catholics, whatever the heck it is. Don't even practice what you preach. You're overcritical of people with this queen of source in the reverse out here. You criticize people so much. It's, it's your full-time job. You pride yourself on how uh, 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 critical you are of other people. You get together just to criticize people. Come on. You want to tell me you, you come together to have a meeting just 
so you can criticize other people to feel good about yourself. Are you hearing that? You literally get up in the morning, leave your homes to go get together just so you can criticize people in order to feel good about yourself. So that means your happiness is dependent on somebody else's existence. Who they are, what they do, what you don't like about them, like they give two Fs. They don't. I, for one, if I tell you I don't give a, I don't give. <laughs> Baby, come on. Your name ain't on the bill. Okay, when I'm going through problems, I got to figure it out myself. I can't call. You ain't going to help me. Y'all don't even like each other. So what the heck? So, is the family out here mad because the Queen of Pentacles is standing their ground against them, protecting herself, attuning her? things in her life is that we don't want her to have options but the queen of pentacles they're a queen of pentacles for a reason they're in that energy for a reason there's somebody that's practical i'm not talking about the queen of pentacles reverse in a community i'm talking about the one you all have been coming after that empress they said why why are they balancing how are they doing this what are they they're the queen of pentacles for a reason for a reason so you may have to even two crazy lunatics coming together to meet, trying to figure out a plan on how to what check out an empress. And they said that's not how it's going to go. Like there's a queen of swords. Maybe the, the karma the universe is administering to you. You won't even it's gonna come in like like a thief in the night. <laughs> mm -hmm. Your karma, like you, you reap what you sow, right? Your karma that's coming to you, it's gonna it's gonna creep up on you like a thief in the night. You won't even expect it. Like it's just gonna be like, <gasps> and I know you're living in fear. Oh, baby, you are afraid, anxious, war, just oh, like someone could take a knife and like it would be like cutting through butter. How, how how solid your 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 fear is, or like cutting through a block of cheese, you know that Velveeta cheese that we that block of Velveeta Velveeta cheese in the supermarket that you buy, cutting through that. That's how fearful this woman is. Like her fear is prominent. Oh my gosh, and she's still trying to figure out how to take you out, how to destroy you. How to sabotage your energy. How to get you out of balance. Have you living in a scarcity mindset. Anxious. Feeling alone. No, you don't. You're not alone. Maybe it's 9 billion, pe 9 billion people in the world. Okay? 9 billion people. If one don't like you, go find another one. <laughs> go find you another one. If you like some of us are introverts, chronic introverts. I just had somebody tell me the other day, you need to stop staying home so much. Like you need to go places. And I listen, what I do works for me. Some of us are introverts, so socializing, we don't put a lot of emphasis on it. We will if we have to. Okay, I'm a chronic introvert. I don't even like being around people like that. I socialize with you every blue moon or something. Every That's good enough for me. But you got people that are extroverts. And that's why it's beautiful. We have all these different peoples on the planet. Some of them, some, some other people are extrovert. Excuse me. They got to be with other people. They got to be around other people. They got to socialize and things like that. But... Someone like me, we don't got to. So you're trying to isolate somebody more than likely that's an introvert, don't care to be around people. Like most light workers, they thrive when they're by themselves. And that's what people don't understand. So something could work on you, like you being rejected by a community will work on you, but it's not going to work on that light worker. There's something about light workers where it's like if they have like... 
a connection to you that is healthy and is something that they that they value and things like that. <clears throat> yeah, if you don't want to talk to them, yeah, they'll be heard about it. But it's not something where they're going to sit around and mope about it. A lot of a lot of the times we'll just say, oh, well, maybe their contract is over with me. So it is what it is. Best wishes to them. But it's not something where we're sitting around like, oh, my God, Maria don't want to talk to me no more. Oh, my gosh. Billy don't want to talk to me no more. Billy broke up with me. Oh, my gosh. My life is coming to an end. I thought Johnny and I was going to get together, but he's changed his mind. No, it ain't nothing like that. It's a shoe. Hey, maybe the contract is over. Whatever happens is what happens. You just got to let it be. It is what it is. It is what it is. But you're not built that way. You're trying to apply things that will work on you to somebody that it does not work on. So you need people around you to feel validated. You need people around you to feel secure. You need people around you to feel happy. Whoever you're coming after, don't give two Fs like myself here. <laughs> So you talk to me cool. You don't talk to me. Hey, good riddance. <laughs> I don't care who you are. Mom, father, brother, sister, whoever. I don't care. I, I really don't care. So someone you're coming after is probably that way. Because what you all don't feel you what what you all fail to realize is when you're separating these light workers from family member, friends, and social work and Social, I was going to say social worker, huh? Okay, social worker, okay. Um, What you feel to realize is these kind of beings, they self-actualize and they introspect about those connections they have with those people. Have I always had a healthy connection with this person? Is this person uh, uh, healthy for me to have around? Okay, do I have a good relationship with them? Is this somebody that is essential in my life? Is my contract over with this person? They're not moping around like, oh my gosh, if I don't talk to Maria, everybody's not going to like me. I got to make this right with Maria. Nah. <laughs> no. Okay? So, wherever it's happening, it's some type of atonement that people don't want happening, but it's going to happen anyways. Two people will still come together and maybe go on about their lives. So you, you don't waste it a whole lot of money. It could be a queen of pentacles reverse and a queen of swords reverse that are meeting, trying to cause some type of distress to someone that's minding their mother having business. And it's just a lot of projection. It may even be something where this queen of swords has sent some type of email or communication to somebody before. Nobody responded. May, you may not have even read the message. You just looked at it like, okay, I know it's this moron. She's on one again. At this point, I hope you know who these people are because maybe they're being shown to me physically in the dream state. Prominations and things like that. So if I saw these people out, I'll be like, oh, they go to queen of swords reverse. Oh, they go that lunatic queen of wands reverse. Oh, they go that lunatic queen of... Queen of uh, Cups reverse. So there's something where this woman wants to like have some type of painful ending happen to you or just d disturb your peace. It said, oh, they're too calm. I need to be around them so I can disturb their peace. It said, it don't matter if you're 10 miles away or a million miles away or right around this person. This person don't care what you do because somebody already sees you for what you are. It's insecure. You're bothered by somebody. Like, 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 there's a woman, a queen of cups knows that she has power, that everybody in this community has given their, any, everybody, let me fix my words. Everybody involved in this situation has given their power to this queen of cups. So this queen of cups, who are people that self-actualize 24-7, they're in con consistent connection with thyself and source, obviously, they already know you've given their pow your power to them, right? So... They don't got to do anything. It's like, I already know you're bothered by me. So why do I even need to lift a finger? I just need to breathe. And you know, I'm just... <laughs> it's like, all I need to do is just breathe. And I get a reaction out of you. So I'm not about to go out of my way to say nothing. I'm not arguing with you. I'm not 
Maybe you want to argue. I don't want to argue with you. I don't got to argue with you. So you're going to argue with yourself. You can send that email, text messages, make that phone call. Ain't nobody responding to you. Okay, we, you're going to be left on red. Miss call. Okay. So it's like this queen of queen of pentacles reverse and the queen of swords reverse may end up wanting to meet to have to come up with some type of plan to take action to come towards you or to, to send you some type of <sighs> message that's supposed to have you in anxiety and it's like these women don't even know you already know you live rent free in your head and you you just plan on taking up more space by being you so it's like you're going to keep breathing you're going to keep loving you're going to keep moving on with life and while they're sitting there stressed pressed and everything about you it's like, you know, somebody don't want you to be happy and you come in happy and set up. Daddy, daddy, da. It's a wonderful day. And they're pissed off as heck. And you know they're pissed off. But you gonna show up in your happy energy. Uh, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> so your enemies are bothered by you. And you're making sure to keep them bothered, but not in a malicious way, just by being you. It's like, baby, I don't got to argue with you. You're too old for me to be sitting around and arguing with anyways. You're going to keep sending them messages, and we're going to keep ignoring them and acting like we don't see them. Because we know you want some attention. Maybe your mammy and pappy didn't give you enough attention. That's why you're looking for attention from another female. You must like that person. <clears throat> You're their age. Bullying somebody younger than you. You're not embarrassed by that? Like, you, you don't want your secrets coming out, but your secrets are out. Who told you to do something? You, you, you should have never done what you did in the first place. Okay? She could even be trying to tell the emperor not to look you up, not to do this, not to do this. Maybe that emperor knows where you are. He sees you. <laughs> Is that that empress that I wanted to work with? And they told me that was not an empress. Oh, I gotta go find that empress. <laughs> Here I go. Here I go. <laughs> Maybe just just a bunch of older women just acting like children. We don't want this person to be married. That don't, that's not your place to decide. That's like a, that's like that uh light worker saying. I don't, I don't want this uh, Queen of Swords reverse to be dark. Uh, you chose to be dark. That's your business. That, 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 that Queen of Cups don't care. Be dark. That don't got nothing to do with them. Why are you so bitter? That's what I want to know. Why, why are you so bitter in life? Have you ever sat down and thought about that? I know you're real people because you're, you're being shown to me. Why are you so bitter in life? It's a king of swords reverse in your community. Why are you so angry in life? Why are you so greedy in life? You don't want to look in, look into that. You, you, you just want to wake up every day and just be vengeful for no reason. You thought a queen of wands or queen of cups reverse was what going to have some type of victory over an empress that is secured by the most high. Okay. Why are you so bitter? Y'all don't feel some type of way all coming together. Like it, it gotta take a whole clan to come after one person. Y'all don't feel some type of weight about that. It's like it it takes 15 people to beat one person down. Y'all don't feel weird about maybe I would feel so pathetic even throwing one punch in that fight. Even being on the scene, I would feel pathetic as heck. Like I don't want to be associated with this. This is some cowardly stuff. It takes 15 a yard for one person. Nah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be associated with this. That's giving coward. Mm -mm. But I just want to know, why are you so bitter? So angry? You, you don't think about that? That you don't wake up one day and be like, dang... I, I'm I'm real insecure. Why am I this insecure? What do I need to fix? Yeah, no, y'all don't do that. Like, cause that's what be going on in the light working community. Like, when, so when we notice something about ourselves, we want to fix it. Like, listen, uh, uh, what's this feeling? Where is it coming from? What do I need to do to fix it? You know, 
Why am I feeling this way today? Something is not right. Let me look into it. I need to go meditate and look deeper into this so I can fix it. Yeah, I be avoiding stuff. It's a uh, <clears throat> no. I don't feel. I don't feel that. I don't feel that. I don't feel that. Nope. Mm -mm. Okay. But anyways, this empress you're coming after. Okay, they're going to have abundance. Whatever the universe is destined for them, they're going to acquire. You're going for bankruptcy, by the way. You're losing everything. 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 A kingdom will fall. But all these calamities must come to pass. A mother and son's relationship will be no more. The bottle will lose its companion. The mansion will become what? A 8 by 4 sale. Strange fruits will hang from the tree. The sick will seek healing, but will not find it. All these things must come to pass. All these calamities must come to pass. And then a new kingdom will arise. That's not going nowhere. Your kingdom is falling and it's not coming back up. Poverty is the road that lies ahead for all involved. Your kingdom is falling. And it's the end. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next read. Goodbye for now.